What is up, everybody? Welcome back once again to Hot Toys Hotline. As always, if you're new here, please consider subscribing to the channel. We currently have about 640 subscribers, and we have a current goal of 750 subscribers. So if you haven't already, consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on all of the content that I upload, as well as our weekly live streams every Thursday at 7 p.m. EST. Also, guys, consider dropping a like on this video if you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate the support on my most recent video where I talked about my top five once and honorable mentions for the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi from Hot Toys. Of course, because of the amazing support, I decided I'm going to do another video. This time, there's going to be a top five list for the 03 Tartakovsky Clone Wars series, not to be confused with the John Favreau The Clone Wars series. Guys, if you had the privilege of watching this when it was originally coming out on Cartoon Network, I know you all can appreciate Hot Toys acquiring this license. I did not expect this at all. I think this is a really, really cool move from Hot Toys, and I think there's going to be a lot of amazing releases. Now, because of that, I couldn't just limit it to only two honorable mentions. I had to throw in a third honorable mention there. Let's get right into it, guys. So my number three honorable mention, and this may be one that may have not crossed your mind. My number three honorable mention is going to be the ARC Trooper with the Quad Blaster. Now, to me, this is one of the coolest blasters in Star Wars. As a kid, I always wanted like a 3.75 inch scale figure with this Quad Blaster. Unfortunately, I never got it. So now this is me asking Hot Toys, please give me my childhood dream of having an ARC Trooper with a quad blaster. Now, of course, guys, with all the clone releases we've received thus far, we do get the phase one and phase two helmet swap outs. So, of course, I'm going to ask for that as well. I want the phase one and phase two helmet swap outs. But this is definitely one that I would love to see. And can you imagine having that quad blaster in six scale format in your collection? Because I definitely can and I would love to see this. So that's why I had to put that in my honorable mentions at number three. Now, moving on to the next one, guys. Now, this is another one that's very important for a lot of people. Now, for me, I thought we may see this for the Revenge of the Sith anniversary. However, I think it's very possible now with the O3 Clone Wars license being acquired. So my number two honorable mention is the Jedi Ayla Secura. Now, I know a lot of people would love to see her, not only to put her in this O3 Clone Wars display, but also you could fit her into your Revenge of the Sith display and she would look absolutely awesome with all the other Jedi that we not only have in our collections already, but that are now available for pre-order. So I would absolutely love to see Ayla Secura. She's definitely a fan favorite. And I think Hot Toys would do a great job at her. We've seen them do the Clone Wars Ahsoka and absolutely knock it out of the park. So Hot Toys could absolutely nail this one. And I would love to have her in my collection. So that's why I had to put her as my number two honorable mention. Now, moving on to this next one, guys, this one may surprise you. And you may say, like, why is he so low on your list? But I'll explain that as we pull them up. My number one honorable mention is going to be Master Yoda riding the Kai Buck. Now, the reason I don't have him higher on the list is because I do have both of the Hot Toys six scale Yodas in my collection, both the Attack the Clones and the Empire Strikes Back version. So because of that, I had to put him a little bit lower on my list, and that's why he made his way into the honorable mentions. However, I do love this look for Yoda with his ears sticking out of the hood. If you've played Battlefront 2, you know they have a skin like that in Battlefront 2. And at first I didn't like it, but it's definitely grown on me. And I think if they give us that look with him riding this Kai Buck mount, I think that would make him unique and set him apart from the other Yodas that we may already have in our collection. I don't think this Kai Buck mount would be too big. I think it would fit in a lot of different displays, and I think this would look absolutely awesome, and I would absolutely have him posing just like this, standing on top of the Kai Buck's back, ready to spring into action. So that's why I had to put my number one honorable mention as Master Yoda riding the Kai Buck. Now, guys, we're going to get in my top five list now. So my number five is going to be another fan favorite, another one that a lot of people have been asking for a while. Now, this may not be the exact iteration that everybody wanted, but my number five, guys, is Asajj Ventress. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking to themselves right now, we really want that The Clone Wars Asajj Ventress. Hear me out, guys. I still think this is a great look. Now, maybe we'll get The Clone Wars Asajj Ventress eventually, but if we get Clone Wars Asajj Ventress, I'll be super happy. I love this look. There was a 1-6 scale Asajj Ventures from Clone Wars in the past. That one has kind of aged at this point, so I'd love to see Hot Toys take a crack at it. And who knows, maybe if they attempt this one, maybe they'll give us some swap-out parts that coincide with the Clone Wars. 
You never know. I would absolutely love to see Asajj Ventress. That's definitely a big hole in my collection. I would love to put her next to General Grievous or put her with Count Dooku. I think she would look absolutely amazing. So that is why my number five had to be Asajj Ventress. But let's move on to our number four, guys. Now, number four is, again, another fan favorite. Another one that a lot of people have been asking about. Now, this is one that we've actually seen a prototype for in a different form. And it's going to be Kit Fisto. But Kit Fisto with a shirtless option. Now, I know a lot of people are thinking right now, please, Hot Toys, don't do the shirtless option. We're being reminded of the Clone Wars Darth Maul. We're being reminded of the cable that a lot of people had issue with. But hear me out, guys. I always love to have the option. You know that we have our buff Fisto here from the 03 Tartakovsky Clone Wars series. He looked absolutely awesome. Of course, if they give us the shirtless option, they're going to give us the robes as well. So if you want to display him with the Jedi robes, we're going to have that option. They're not just going to give us this one if they do give us a Kit Fisto. Now, of course, they could pull that older Kit Fisto out of the vault that they showed us previously in prototype format. Maybe reuse that head sculpt to give us a live action adaptation. That way you can put him in both the O3 Clone Wars display and or your Revenge of the Sith display. He could really fit in many different places. You can throw him with the Attack of the Clones. He could fit in many different displays. And I think this is going to be one that a lot of people would really appreciate, including myself. So I had to put him at my number four, the Kit Fisto, but specifically with that shirtless option. I would love to see it. But let's move on, guys, to our number three. Now, this one, this one, guys, this is one that a lot of people are screaming from the rooftops for. And that's going to be Captain Fordo. But I got to have Captain Fordo at least with the phase one and phase two helmets. Captain Fordo is the clone. He's the badass of Clone Wars. He's absolutely awesome. Captain Fordo is one of those clones that doesn't wait for backup. He just kind of pushes on, jumps right into battle. He doesn't care about nothing. Captain Fordo is the man. I had a lot of great memories of watching Clone Wars and watching him in action. And Captain Fordo is who made me kind of fall in love with the clones as a whole. Captain Fordo is awesome. This is an absolute must. And I think this is one that Hot Toys is definitely going to do. Every time you think of O3 Clone Wars, you think of Captain Fordo. You cannot think of O3 Clone Wars without Captain Fordo. So because of that... Captain Fordo has to be number three on my list. I would be absolutely stoked and excited if we got Captain Fordo. And I think he would look amazing in any display, really. You could throw him in with anyone, and I think he would look awesome. So Captain Fordo is a must, guys. He's an absolute must. But let's move on to my number two. Now, my number two is another one that I think a lot of people would be really stoked to get. And my number two, guys, is going to be Dirge. But if we get Dirge, he's got to have the battle damage swap out pieces. If you remember his battle with Obi-Wan, they're on the speeders rushing at each other. Obi-Wan stabs the lightsaber through his chest and it's stuck into his chest until Obi-Wan uses the force to pull it out. Obi-Wan's damaging all of his different weapons left and right, damaging his armor. Eventually, we see Dirge with this weird, like, fleshy tentacle body. I don't know if Hatos will go that far where you could see his fleshy body underneath the armor. But even if they just do the armored look, I would be absolutely stoked. But I know that they could do some swap out pieces. They've done that with a lot of different figures. Iron Man especially, they do swap out battle damage pieces all the time. So guys, if we get that damaged chest plate with Obi-Wan's lightsaber sticking into it, that would look absolutely incredible. And I would love to see it. So please, Hot Toys, give us those battle damage pieces for Dirge. Dirge is the ultimate badass. So I'd love to see those swap out battle damage pieces so we can recreate that, that fight scene with Obi-Wan. But guys, moving on to my number one. Now, you guys are probably thinking to yourself, he, he's left quite a few out. What is his number one going to be? My number one, guys, has to be General Grievous. Guys, General Grievous quite literally was built different in 03 Clone Wars. The General Grievous that we saw in Revenge of the Sith and the Clone Wars series pales in comparison to this General Grievous. We see this General Grievous going up against many Jedi, not only putting up a fight, but winning. He's a total badass in this series. I love the look. I think Hot Toys would absolutely knock this out of the park. Of course, we have our Sideshow Six Scale General Grievous. That one is just not up to par. It has a lot of issues with the joints. And I think if Hot Toys did this, a lot of people always ask, do you think it'll be full die cast? No, I don't. I think it'll be typical of their other droids with the larger bodies that'll have die cast reinforced joints. But I think Hot Toys will do a much better job, not only with the display stand that they provide, but making him more stable in the way he stands. I would absolutely love to see this Grievous. This is one that I think a lot of people will have high up on their list because this General Grievous, once again, is just built different. I got to have this General Grievous in my collection, especially with all these different Jedis that we're getting from Hot Toys. I got to have this General Grievous. So that's why he had to take my number one spot for my number one want from the 03 Tartakovsky Clone Wars. But guys, that is my list. Let's bring it now back to the main camera and close out this video. 
So guys, I hope you enjoyed this list. Again, this is my top five wants and my three honorable mentions. You guys may have some different wants and honorable mentions yourselves. So please, as you did for the 40th anniversary Return of the Jedi wants video that I just put out, head on over to the comments, share your list with me. Do you agree with my list? Is there some that you would have on your list that aren't on mine? Are there some that you would take off? Definitely let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts on this, guys. I like doing these list videos because it gets everybody excited, gets us talking, it gets us theorizing about what we may see moving forward. Of course, guys, at the time of the filming of this video, the reason Obi-Wan was not on my list is because we did actually get our first release for the 20th anniversary of the 03 Clone Wars, and that is Obi-Wan Kenobi, that General Kenobi look. We finally got it, and it's kind of a mix of the Clone Wars and the 03 Clone Wars series. And it's absolutely beautiful. I'm so excited for that to be the first figure in this line. He was number two on my list as I was making notes for this video before I filmed it. But of course, because we got that announcement, I had to bump him off of my list because it wouldn't make sense anymore. So thank you, Hot Toys, for that General Kenobi. I know we're all really excited for that. And that makes me much more excited for this line moving forward. But that's all I got for you guys. Once again, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and drop a like on this video. And thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care.